I'm investigative reporter Jeremy Rogowski. This investigation started with a tip from a KHEO 11 viewer just like you. The tipster said, hey, you have to check out this small town called Coffee City, Texas. It's hiring a ton of cops, and, and word has it, a lot of them have troubled pass. So we pulled on that thread, requested a lot of records, and dug in deep. That took a while, and that journalistic journey led us to discover even more problems at this department. And in the end, our investigation got results. Just two weeks after our first story aired, the city council took swift and serious action. It fired the police chief and shut down the entire police force. New tonight, a tiny Texas town of about 250 people has 50 sworn police officers on the force. We're talking about Coffee City that's up in Henderson County, some three hours north of Houston. They have one cop for every five residents. And what's more, Jeremy Rogowski discovered many of those officers have a history of problems wearing the badge. On the banks of Lake Palestine, some three hours north of Houston, this dot on the map has quite a reputation among those who drive through. They're everywhere, literally everywhere. They run back and forth, back and forth. A lot of officers policing a very small number of people. Only 249 people, says the sign on the edge of town. And when you add up all the full-time cops and reserves. 50 officers. Good Lord, that's crazy. If it's such a small town, why do we need so many? It makes no sense. Why do you need that many officers? Coffee City hauled in a million dollars in court fines last year for more than 5,000 violations, officers wrote. The most in the state for a town its size. But this isn't a story about a small town writing a bunch of tickets. You see, Coffee City is a magnet for troubled cops. How do we know? KHU 11 investigates obtained personnel records from other police agencies and found more than half of Coffee City officers had been suspended, demoted, terminated, or dishonorably discharged from their previous jobs. A dozen were even criminally charged. I was astounded to think that they've been hired by another agency. Greg Freeman is a Sam Houston State criminal justice professor and retired Houston police captain. I've never seen anything like that in my professional career, and I've seen a lot. Their prior discipline ranges from excessive force to public drunkenness, untruthfulness, and association with known criminals. Criminal charges include DWI, theft, aggravated assault, family violence, and endangering a child. If you knowingly are hiring an officer that has a very troubled past and history and has no business to be wearing a uniform, and it's a very, very precarious slope that that city is engaging in by hiring. This is the man who hired them. Chief John J. Portillo quadrupled the department's size since he took the job two years ago. He says to provide 24-7 coverage for the town. Why would you hire so many people with all these red flags. There's more to just what's on paper. And that's where I, I rely on my captain and my, my background investigators to go in and dig and say, hey, what's the, what's the truth behind this? The chief says criminal charges were often dismissed, dishonorable discharges overturned. He claims most applicants hired got on the wrong side of agency politics. If you go back to the totality of a lot of these officers' stuff, I would say 75 percent, if not more, they're being retaliated against from their agency. Retaliate? Mm-hmm. Why would you take a chance, Chief? I try to look at the good in everybody, and I believe everybody deserves an opportunity. You give a lot of opportunities. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. The opportunity to wear a badge allows his officers to work extra jobs, which can mean real money. $50 an hour or more. I mean, let's not hide it from anybody. They're making probably about eighty to 100000 a year doing that. And I asked Portillo directly, does he get a cut of his officers' extra job wages? Twice during our interview, the chief said no. The only money he makes from extra jobs is from the ones he works himself. And that takes us from Coffee City to Houston and what's coming up tomorrow night at 10. Call Garcia right now. Call his that's Chief Portillo caught on camera cussing out an elected Harris County constable. Portillo was working security for a Southeast Houston apartment complex nearly 200 miles away from Coffee City. More on that video and what else we learned about Chief Portillo's past 
as our investigation continues tomorrow at 10. Len and me. Jeremy Rogowski, fascinating report there. We'll see you tomorrow for more. Thank you. Coffee City, Texas, a small town of about 250 people and 50 police officers on the force. Our investigative team dug through records and found half of those officers had been suspended, demoted, or fired from previous jobs, some even criminally charged. And Jeremy Rogowski discovered the man who hired them can have a short fuse when dealing with others who wear the badge here in Harris County. Coffee City's police chief routinely works an extra job 200 miles away at this Houston apartment complex. And on this day, watch how John J. Portillo behaves. I'm about to call Garcia and tell him he's going to be f the next election. It's an expletive filled rant launched at the elected constable of Harris County Precinct 2, Jerry Garcia. I'll call Garcia right now. Tell his Portillo wanted Precinct 2 to file charges on a man he says assaulted him at the complex. It was just one of many requests the constable says kept coming in from off-duty Coffee City cops. Which at first was, you know, no big deal. We help anybody and everybody. But then we noticed that it was becoming a pattern. That pattern, the constable says, was draining resources. So Garcia reached out to the Harris County District Attorney's Office. And we were advised to tell Chief Portillo that he had to file the charges. But when deputies did just that, Portillo left a nasty voicemail. And uh, you can, your captain, lieutenant, so whoever those numb nuts are that you have working for you, uh, you know, tell them your guys not to f***ing help us out. It saddened me. Uh, it upset me to hear that. This isn't something small. This is... I mean, this is pretty upsetting. What upset the constable even more, the responses agency got back after alerting Coffee City's mayor. I don't see very much there that warrants any disciplinary action from the city, the mayor wrote. The officers are contracted by the property for off-duty police protection. You may want to reach out to them with any complaints. Didn't think that it merited any disciplinary action against them. It's, it's crazy. Greg Freeman is a Sam Houston State criminal justice professor and retired Houston police captain. Basically, that's you're enabling bad behavior now, and that's exactly what the mayor has done. So what does Chief Portillo have to say for himself? I was amped up, and I apologize to my city council, at city council. Did you apologize to Constable Garcia? No, I haven't had a chance. To, I haven't talked to him. The cussing incident happened six months ago. Is that the real John J. Portillo that people are seeing in this video? No, I don't. I don't just go off the handle. Well, you did here. Yeah, because I was. I got socked in the face. I was mad. I was red, and I was upset because I could. They wouldn't, you know, help me file the charges. It's not the only example we found that calls into question Portillo's character and integrity. In his application to become Coffee City's chief, he never listed this, a DWI charge out of Florida in which he failed to appear in court. Why wouldn't you disclose that, chief? Didn't disclose it. It was over 10 years ago. You had an active warrant. Huh? That was disposed of. No, it wasn't. Court records show the day after our interview, Portillo hired a Florida defense attorney who filed a not guilty plea in the case. From the looks of it, you weren't being truthful on the application to which you hold the job this day. Chief? Yeah, I understand. I mean, but that's not what it is. I'm not, not being truthful. You forgot? I just I put down everything that was in my mind when I filled out my application to the best of my knowledge. Well, that same job application states there are criminal consequences for lying on a government document. Len and Mia. Okay, so there's more to this investigation tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow we reveal how some Coffee City officers were working full-time right here in Harris County and how the chief suspended that division after we started asking questions. We'll see that tomorrow night. Thank you, Jeremy. See you then. Mm -hmm. Interesting. A K H two U eleven investigation leads to changes at a Texas police department. This week, we've showed you how the town of Coffee City, three hours north of Houston, is a magnet for cops with troubling backgrounds. Now, the chief is temporarily shutting down a division that works here in Harris County after Jeremy Rogowski questioned whether it's legal. Coffee City, Texas, a dot on the map with barely two hundred and fifty residents has a police force of 50 officers, five times the number of cops than any other Texas town its size. 
And that's not the only thing unusual or odd. Turns out there are a half dozen full-time Coffee City police officers who don't even work in Coffee City, Texas. Instead, they work from home, more than three hours and nearly 200 miles away in Houston. It's hard to believe that that is happening. Greg Freeman is a Sam Houston State criminal justice professor. I've never seen anything like that. There are a, a hundred questions that come to my mind. Who are these officers? This internal email shows they're part of a warrant division. It reads, there is no need to go to Coffee City because you will be spending 95% of your time on the phone, calling people who have outstanding warrants and collecting failure to appear fines. And because it's a full-time position, there's an added perk. It gives them the ability to go work our extra job. Coffee City Chief John J. Portillo concedes they're on the books as full-time because state law only allows full-time cops to work extra security jobs. At this Houston apartment complex, some Coffee City warrant officers do just that and make more than $50 an hour. They work uh, two, three days a week, four days a week. But is it all above board? The warrant division is a performance-based division and officers' pay is based on the failure to appears they collect. They're basically bounty hunters in a way. Freeman says that amounts to a commission for collecting fines. It doesn't make any sense. From an ethical perspective, it, it just screams questions about the legitimacy of what they're doing. That's because state law requires full-time peace officers to get paid at least at the federal minimum wage. But again, at the Coffee City Warrant Division... The court gives them $150 for each warrant that they clear. So they don't earn a salary apart from that $150? No, sir. No, sir. Ahead. Correct. Correct. Okay. Is that legal? Oh, I believe so. Two days after our interview, Coffee City PD changed course, sending out this email to warrant detectives that said, due to unforeseen difficulties, the program has been suspended until such time as I can make sure that we are in compliance with labor laws. So whose job is it to police the police? The Department of Public Safety enforces any extra job violations. The Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, or TCOL, has the power to suspend or revoke a peace officer's license. That agency confirms to us it does have an open investigation into the Coffee City Police Department. Oh, Guys. interview raising a lot of eyebrows, Jeremy. Thank you. Sure. New developments tonight in the KJU 11 investigation of the Coffee City Police Department. Last week, we uncovered the town of 250 people has 50 officers on the force, and more than half of those officers have tainted past. Now, Jeremy Rogowski reports the Coffee City Council has suspended the chief of police. Chief John J. Portillo is off the job for 30 days. The Coffee City Council voted to suspend him pending an independent investigation into what we found. KHEO 11 investigates revealed how Portillo routinely hired officers who had been suspended, demoted, terminated, or dishonorably discharged from their previous law enforcement jobs for a wide range of misconduct or even criminal charges. We also reported on a profanity-filled rant the chief launched at a Harris County constable while he was working an extra security job in Houston. And we uncovered how Portillo failed to list on his job application this active DWI case out of Florida in which he failed to appear in court. From the looks of it, you weren't being truthful on the application to which you hold the job this day. Chief? Yeah, I understand. I mean, but that's not what it is. I'm not, not being truthful. You forgot? I just I put down everything that was in my mind when I filled out my application to the best of my knowledge. Our investigation also revealed how Coffee City warrant officers didn't even work in Coffee City. They stayed home in Houston, spending their time on the phone, calling people with outstanding traffic warrants and collecting failure to appear fines. After we questioned Portillo about the program. Is that legal? Oh, I believe so. The chief suspended the warrant division. We got hold of Portillo on the phone. The chief declined to comment about the suspension. And that's not the only shakeup in the Coffee City ranks. Sergeant Cody Welch resigned from the department 
We don't know why. Welch also declined to comment. Jeremy Rogowski, KHOU 11 Investigate. KHU 11 investigates uncovered questionable hiring practices in a small town police department with 50 officers for 250 people. Last night, we told you how the police chief was suspended for 30 days. Tonight, there is new reaction from the mayor of Coffee City, who is talking for the very first time. Investigative reporter Jeremy Rogowski tells us what he had to say and the changes the mayor says are on the way. Mayor Jeff Blackstone declined our repeated requests for an on-camera interview, but he did sit down with our sister station in Tyler. The mayor concedes he was unaware of many of the issues we uncovered. My first reaction was just kind of shocked. Mayor Blackstone says he had no idea more than half of the 50 officers on the Coffee City Police Department had been suspended, demoted, terminated, or dishonorably discharged from previous law enforcement jobs some even criminally charged. The mayor and all the current city council members took office after John J. Portillo was hired as police chief. So the mayor says they were unaware of what we uncovered on Portillo's job application, that he failed to list an active DWI charge out of Florida. I was not pleased whenever I heard the allegations because if they are true, then that's, that looks really bad. So we just have to make sure that we get to the bottom of all of this. The mayor says while Chief Portillo is on a 30-day paid suspension, Coffee City will investigate the issues internally as well as hiring an independent investigation firm. The scope of that probe will include the department's warrant officers, who we found didn't even work in Coffee City, but rather stayed home in Houston on the phone trying to collect outstanding traffic fines. We weren't really fully aware of how it was operating, and that was all kind of brought to light uh, as well through this story. Going forward, the mayor says all police applications will be reviewed by the entire city council before any officer is hired. His goal? Rebuilding the reputation of his town's police force and public trust. These are allegations that we can't just turn a blind eye to. The mayor also says Coffee City is asking the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, or TCOL, for assistance with information. That agency already has an open investigation into the department. Jeremy Rogowski, KHOU 11 Investigates. Up first tonight, breaking news from the KHOU 11 Investigates team. Just a few hours ago, the city council in tiny Coffee City, Texas, voted unanimously to fire its police chief and deactivate the entire police department until a new chief can be hired. This comes after KHU 11 investigates uncovered questionable practices in the department in a series of reports. Jeremy Rogowski is in Coffee City tonight with the exclusive update. Jeremy. The Coffee City Council took less than 15 minutes to reach its decision. It means this tiny town of 250 people that once had 50 officers on the force now has none. Coffee City Council members took swift and serious action after what KHU 11 investigates uncovered. A police department that routinely hired cops with troubling work histories, hired by a chief, John J. Portillo, who had an unresolved criminal charge and who launched a questionable warrant division with officers who didn't even work in Coffee City. There was things that we weren't aware of and that just like really opened our eyes that, you know, there's major changes that have got to be made and made quickly. Portillo had tried to email his resignation before the meeting, but council members refused to accept it and instead outright fired the chief. And in a bombshell move, it also voted to deactivate the department as a whole. We just felt it was best to basically terminate the program. That way we were able to go out, find a new chief, let him do all the proper evaluations and determine if he wants to rehire anybody or just start from scratch. The action was welcome news for many residents who say they've lived with over aggressive policing for too long. Never since we moved here, it was every day um, cop pulling in for one reason or another. Something needed to happen, that's for sure. The Henderson County Sheriff's Office will respond to calls for the time being. As for the 50 full-time and reserve officers, we're told they will not be allowed to perform police officer activities unless or until they're picked up by another department. Finally, we reached out to John J. Portillo for comment. We have not heard back.
It has been quite the investigation and quite the development tonight. Jeremy Rogowski in Coffee City. Thank you, Jeremy. You can watch Jeremy's series of stories on Coffee City on the KHU 11 Plus app. It's free to download on Apple TV, Fire TV, and Roku.